everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. I hope it is going amazing with all of you today and right now in this video we are going to check out the brand new season 5 slash season 6 beta which has come out and a lot of new content is in this beta and we're also going to check out some new leaks which have come out of this beta as well so definitely make sure to watch the full video. Now before we do hop into that though I do want to say that I am running a battle pass giveaway on the channel which does come to an end in the next couple of days. It is for 5 season 4 battle passes and if you guys do want to enter the link to enter is down below in the description definitely go ahead and check that out. But now, without the way, here we go. So let's start off with the new guns in the test server, starting off with the new assault rifle being the Odin. Now the Odin is a VLK bullpup assault rifle featured in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And now it's coming to COD Mobile and it seems to be the new gun for Season 5. I'll show you guys some gameplay of this gun in just a moment. Now we also have a new SMG being the KSP-45. Now this is a burst submachine gun featured in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and this seems to be the new gun for Season 6. There is no model for this gun just yet in the test server. Now there's also a new pistol and that is going to be the Alcar 9. This is a fully automatic pistol featured in Black Ops 3. And that gun, I'm not sure if it is coming in Season 5 or in Season 6, but it also has no model at this moment. But now, guys, in the background, you can see some gameplay of the brand new gun being the Odin coming to Car Mobile in Season 5. So make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy. And once the gameplay is done, I'm going to show you guys a ton more content coming to the game. Now next we have the new tactical coming to the game and that is going to be the Echo Grenade. Now what this does is, this grenade uses sound waves to detect enemy locations. And as you guys can see, essentially what happens is, once the grenade goes off and there's any enemies in the area, it is going to highlight those enemies and you can see them through surfaces, as you guys can see, in like this reddish color. It essentially gives you wall hacks in a grenade type of way. So okay, that's the new tactical being the Echo Grenade. Now let's move on some more to a nerf to persistence. So essentially what they have done is they have changed persistence to a blue perk and they've also adjusted score streaks when you do use persistence. So for starters you can now no longer combine persistence with hard lines since they're both blue perks and also as you can see the adjustment to score streaks is pretty big. You can now only have a low rank score streak a mid-tier score streak and one high rank score streak. As you can see when you are running persistence they have moved or they have adjusted the score streaks into different categories and you can only have one of each category being low rank, 
mid rank and high rank. So as you guys can see a pretty big nerf to persistence which is going to make a lot of people happy. This is very good for the game. Happy to see this. Now next we have a new special attachment for the RPD which is a cooldown barrel. Now not much is known about this attachment at this moment in time but essentially as we can see what happens is now the gun does fire in like this overheat mode. So looks like the gun no longer runs off of ammunition or probably still does but now in Instead of reloading, you're busy monitoring and controlling it so it doesn't overheat. You're shooting essentially on like one of those guns in a chopper where if it overheats you have to start again and wait for it to uh, cool down. Something along the lines of that. Pretty interesting overall. What do you guys think about this new special attachment? Let me know down below in the comment section. But now moving on, this over here is the new menu for selecting game modes. Do you guys prefer this one or not? Let me know down below. But now to an awesome change, the Mythic Fennec and the Mythic Peacekeeper have finally uh, got their very very own inspections. Check them out, they all look very cool. Enjoy, and let me know what you guys think about these. Hurry up, let's get into the battle. Now let's check out some new leaks for the upcoming season, starting off with a new legendary character which is going to be a new alias skin. The second female legendary operator skin and alias is one of my favorite uh, female operator skins so I'm definitely excited for this. We can expect this skin in season 6. Now moving on we have a new mythic skin which is going to be for the Odin known as Divine Smite. Now we can expect this skin in season 5. Looking forward to that. Now let's check out some legendary skins for season 5 and season 6. So we have a new legendary skin for the KSP 45 known as Colossus. Then we do have the Alcar 9 known as Sikio. Then we do have the KRM-262, known as Ejector. Then we have the M13, known as Fearless. We do have the M4, known as Red Blue Soul, okay. Then we have the RPD, known as Yellow Jacket. Then we have the PDW, known as Battalion, the DLQ Base Booster. We also have an LK24 Legendary skin, as well as a new Legendary AK-117 skin. Now to speak about the Legendary AK-117, that seems to be an exclusive for the Chinese version of the game. And also to note, the Legendary uh, Cordite, which was expected to come in Season 4, is now expected to release next season. So okay, there you guys go, that is a bunch of new content for season 5 and season 6 of COD Mobile. I do want to say though, in this video I focused on no new content for Battle Royale. That will be in my next video on the channel coming up later on today. Definitely look out for that. And with that being said, that is going to be all for this video. I hope all of you did enjoy and thank you so much for watching as well. But for now, that's going to be all from me. Have a great day. And again, look forward to that next video coming out later on today. But with that being said, that's all from me. And Squally out. Catch you next one. And cheers. Bye.